You guys, we have a confession to make. I'm gonna explain what happened, so you guys stay tuned. Good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. I'm Wendy, the cameraman is Harry and our little Chihuahua's name is Little Sally. We call her Little Sally Girl. Her name is Sally Schnickerdoodle after my favorite cookie. Yes, indeed. Anyway, you guys, how is everybody doing? I hope everybody, if you didn't get to go to the PhD Summit, I hope you guys got to watch it because there was a lot of information on there. Yes, there was. And I came away with a lot of stuff. I've never seen uh, nurse, nurse Cindy before and hear about her um, story that she had all about poop. Yes, she did. Anyway, I had a great time, met new people, met some of my wonderful Loving It on Keto family members. Everybody came up and said hi to me and I was just really, really excited about that, you guys. Anyway, Hope you guys watched the Memento Cafe, uh, a second interview that we did, and I hope you guys are uh, watching it till the end because there's a surprise on there. Yes, there is. Well, hopefully it'll be out today or tomorrow, but I'm going for today. Harry's going for today, so it'll be the same video. So we'll see, we'll see. Love my new kitchen counter setup. Love that the dog stuff is over here. Gives me more room. Gives Harry more coffee. We're gonna go to Hobby Lobby, which is where we bought these, yeah. and they're over in the arts section, like where the where you buy your art supplies and stuff over in the back area. And we're gonna go buy some more of these because we bought some coffee. Yes, we did at Memento, and I need a place to put them. So that's where I'm gonna put those. Anyway, you guys, how did we do yesterday with the Blazes Pizza and all the deliciousness we had yesterday? Um, I didn't put it into my carb manager because of, I don't know the weights and measurements of the cheeses and the meats and all the good things on the Blazes Pizza. I... Uh, I didn't do that yet. You didn't do this. How come? Been busy. Well, I... I'm working on the coffee set. I weighed 182.6, so I went up two tenths, or I went up. Harry, what did you weigh? What did you weigh? This is wrong. This is wrong. No, oh, I went up like, shoot, two you, pounds or something. You went like up that. two pounds. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's not because I'm back and he's eating wrong. <laughs> or, any, or, or anything uh, I like just that. eat more when she's home. Yeah, yeah. But I, it could be about my confession... Yeah, that I'm well, gonna make. That didn't late, help. I, I'm gonna make the confession, but I'm, it's not gonna be right now. It's not gonna be right now, you guys, because right now we want to eat. I have been on the phone, you guys. Rhonda Clark is such a doll. We video chatted and talked this morning uh, about something that I'm gonna be making later in the day because great minds think alike. She, honest to goodness, did the same thing yesterday that I did. And I'll share you guys with that later because I'm going to share and recreate that recipe for you guys. Only we were bouncing stuff off and I'm going to take it to the next level. So I hope you guys come back for that because I think you guys are going to go, oh my gosh, I've got to make me some of that because it's absolutely delicious. But first I want to insert our morning fasting glucose ketones right here.
just washed my hands, washed my face, did the whole thing. Now it's time to poke my finger. I did mine early this morning. You can tell because I wouldn't talk. Harry's waiting for me to get coffee. Mm -hmm. I figured it out. Hmm. If if the if the tips of these things are mm -hmm. just a little bent, mm -hmm. they don't go in right and oh, you don't get blood. Really? Yeah. I figured it out because I stood here and cut my did myself about four times to see what would work and what wouldn't work. I took one for the team. Oh, when did you do that? This morning. This morning. Because oh. I noticed that mine was a little bit, so I wondered I did it, and it didn't bleed hardly. Oh, your little uh, lancet? Yeah, the lancet. Zero point six. Here you go. For you. For me. Oh man, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> I only need a dabber. A dabber do. Ninety nine. And 0 0.6. Yeah. I am not in GKI ketosis. I'm a 9.1. Yeah. And we know Harry isn't in because he's a point. He's a 0 0.4. Yeah, and a 106. Yeah. <clears throat> so don't waste the time. 9.1. I think I'll be like a 14, 14.4 14, or something like that. Okay, guys, see you in the next segment. I got to get some coffee in me now. Okay. I'm gonna make this and get it out of the way you guys I make a morning elixir that's what I call it I use MSM pure coarse flakes this helps with joint oh, health time. arthritis it's wonderful there are um, white papers stating that it does actually work well, we've had quite a few people that use it and it has helped watch them us that says it's helped them quite a bit yes and um it's helped my it's helped my one my my other leg actually yes it helps my knees my joints my hands for those of you who don't know i was almost to the point of crippling my hands wearing hand braces thinking that it was carpal tunnel went and got tested went and got x-rays and it was just i have a little arthritis well it was inflammation from almonds almond milk we used almond milk for everything as soon as I took that away and got this, oh my gosh, this helps my knee. I've had three surgeries on my knee, you guys. Yep. And I'm babying it. And my other hip, I'm babying it. Harry's babying his hip. And when I take this every day, it helps. I don't have pain. I don't have the pain. I quit taking this. We didn't take this on one of our trips. It yeah. was down to Tombstone and stuff. I, uh, and we walked. Yeah. And we both had pain. And it was like, you know what? We haven't had for about four or five days. We haven't had MSM Pure. We were giving it to Sally Girl because if you noticed over on her little little uh, vitamins and minerals that she takes, there's her little container. And we were putting in hers and I thought, well, why aren't we using her MSM Pure? It's the same thing because you guys can give it to dogs. Now you have to well, talk about- Well, let's face it. We treat our animals better than I do ourselves. Well, actually. a lot of people do. Yeah. We watch our dogs diet better than, you know, humans watch their animals diets better than they do their own yeah you know if you love your pet yeah it's just normal. um and they have to eat what you give them i put a teaspoon of keto chow daily minerals and this was um dr uh, ken berry helped formulate all of the vitamins and minerals in here and i put a teaspoon in my morning elixir a daily dose is a tablespoon you can squirt this or put a little bit on your meat um, because it does have a minerally taste, but we have uh, gotten this elixir pretty pretty down pat to where we like it and where it tastes good for us. I use um, iodine. The particular iodine that I'm using right now is this one, and the dosage on it is six drops. Talk to your doctor because we're not doctors, we're not medical profession, we're not nutritionists. So talk to your doctor if you add any of these things because if you're on any kind of medicine, it could be counterindicated. So you really, really, really need to talk to your doctor about it. But I put six drops in. We are pretty much water, salt, iodine, magnesium, potassium. We need all those things on a daily basis, you guys, to keep our heart working. 
you know, to keep everything. My mom is having issues. What's that? Right now, this I'm using actually Perfect Keto because I'm almost out of my Realite. They're getting it in. Yes, they have the immunity in, but this is Perfect Keto. And this one is the um, lem pink lemonade. And here's the um, Which information one? on it. What do you want this thing at the side? Let's it's, find it. It's this right here. Okay. And you guys, we have discount codes for um, all of the Keto Chow products. We have discount for Redmond uh, Realite. We have discount for Perfect Keto down in the description below. But this is what we do every single day. Yep. Yes, we do. In some form or another. And Basically I'm after you, coffee. My mom. This makes the day go. It really does help. My mom has been having issues with her potassium, her magnesium, and her sodium. And she was, when she first went into um, assisted living, for those of you who don't know, my mom is 90 and a half and she broke her pelvis back at the end of March and she has had to go into assisted living, but she's been having issues. And I took a bottle of da, 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 electrolyte tablets into her, they have a doctor that comes and visits her once a month and they've had to give her um, IV potassium and such. Well, she's having a problem with sodium now. And I took a bottle of this in and I asked her if she could have one of these a day because the electrolytes that they had was kind of a Pedialyte type of a thing and the minute you open it, it goes bad and it wasn't anywhere near as good as any of the products that we have in the keto community. Took this in uh, to Deborah, um, Nurse Deborah, and she said yes. So I took it in and gave it to them. Well, my mom got her first blood lab workup after 30 days using this. Her magnesium and potassium have stabilized and they are at a normal level. Now, her sodium is still a little bit low and I said, well, can we double up on this? She doesn't want to double up on this. Again, she's afraid because of the potassium, but um, she, mom needs to add salt to her meals and when they cook, at a facility like this, they don't add salt to any of their food at all because of everybody's varied diet. But the good news is her magnesium and potassium blood workup came back normal. And she's the only thing we've done is she's getting one of these a day. So, you know, if you have an elderly person um, that isn't eating right or eats like a little bird, you might want to start supplementing them with electrolytes as well because even though they're on the sad diet, their, their um, bodies are very um, sensitive to changes and a lot of them are dehydrated because they forget to drink water. Um, there they bring in uh, 16 ounces of water four times a day with a straw, ice and everything. They check them and um, my mother's caregivers need to remind her to drink her water throughout the day and when I go in to check, I always check her cup, I refill her cup, make sure she's all settled and stuff and if I give her a Premier Protein Shake I, will, I have the electrolyte drops in my purse and I will put electrolyte drops in it to give it to her. So, and I'm there almost every day for at one time or another during the day. So you guys, I was very excited that she has not had to go to the hospital, thank God, for because her potassium or her magnesium hit the floor or her sodium well, hit the floor. She was going to the hospital. She, she was, went. yes she we was. Had to take her she went twice times. and it affected her heart. And it was because her potassium was so low. And then the other time it was her magne magnesium was super low. So I'm telling you, it's very important to you guys as a keto, ketovore, carnivore, you need to make sure you are getting your electrolytes. Yes, you do. So thus, I make one for Harry, one for me. We take it with us in the car. That's what we do. So whatever brand you use, you can use the drops. <laughs> You can use the uh, unflavored, you can use the flavored, you know, but get your electrolytes in. Okay, you guys, did mine. I'm gonna put mom's other bottle of pills. Oh, and another reason why I like these is there are 120 tablets. So you don't have to, you know, 120 days. That's very, very nice. So I'm gonna put this back in my cupboard. 
because those are moms for the next <laughs> go around when she needs them. And I'm gonna put these over to the side, on the coffee bar side, and I'm gonna be cooking. Yes, I am. I am browning the butter. For those of you who don't know, brown your butter. You will take your eggs up to a whole new level. I keep telling people, you wanna brown it? You wanna see the, the butter change? What it does is it browns the milk solids. And it all of a sudden will smell like popcorn. It'll smell like caramel corn. It'll get the most aromatic, most delicious smell you've ever had. Well, and then know, the milk solids change color. They change to a golden, like the color right here of my eggs. So, see this egg? I got a suggestion about this. What? You should start small. Like this small amount right now, you learn how to do it really well. Yes, do it with your and eggs. You, and then Cause I've got it, something to share today later that is gonna include brown butter. Oops, here, quick. See, it's browning. You're right, start little. Learn it. Don't do a huge old pan of butter if you've never browned butter. Cause the chances of burning your butter and browning your butter are so close. You don't want to burn your butter, you want to brown your butter. Just see the brown? Now it's time to add the eggs. Yes it is, add those eggs. And then I baste my eggs by just covering them and letting them steam on top in the delicious brown butter. I turn it down to medium so they don't burn. You don't want burnt butter, you want browned butter. And some people used to throw away the brown butter because they thought it was burnt. So, anyway guys, let me wash my hands because we're having bacon and eggs and my delicious BBBE bread version 2.0 with real delicious butter in it. It's right here. I put it in. Let's see if I can. Get this out, look at this, you guys. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, so delicious. Now it is a little sticky on top. I didn't let it dry out enough last night, so it's got a little sticky top, but I just left it out on the counter. Just left it out on the counter. And you guys, if you wanna brown it, if it bothers you that it's light on top, just get some egg white, and about 10 minutes before it's done, just wipe some egg white, you know, on top of it, an egg wash on top and it'll brown it really pretty. Yes, it will. So, let's see how many bacons we got left. How many you want, Harry? How many bacons? Three or four. Because I oh, want to take like, you out for steak, so I don't want a whole lot. You really like these. Mm. Yeah, I, like the, I want the ones that are like almost burnt. burnt. I don't want to take you out for a steak, man. Okay, you can take, oh, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you twist my arm, man. I'll let show you everybody twist my the steak arm. today. We'll show everybody the steak, but we're not getting vegetables. We're just no. telling them steak. Yeah, that's it, just steak. Oh, can I have some crumbles on it? Blue cheese crumbles? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Oh, Get it out of your system yes. this month. Uh, okay. Just saying, see, people are going, oh, oh, that was another clue. That was another clue. Yes, it was. It absolutely was. Knife. I need a knife. Sleeping. Probably. It'll either be the eggs or it'll be the toast. Which one will come out first? Definitely want my, my bread on the bottom. Make sure it's heavily buttered. You need your whites of your eggs cooked and your yolks as raw as possible, as, as unhard as possible. That's a, per, that's a per Dr. Berry. Well, yeah, raw. Raw is good on the yolk part. You want to cook the egg whites. It's healthier to have the egg white cooked. Oh, look at the butter. Mm -hmm. mm, butter is better. Mm-mm-mm. 
We'll put the toast on to the side just for posterity oh, and then we can, yeah. And we'll get the eggs going. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Loving my egg, loving this butter dish. Loving it. Yeah, I like it too. I like you the little You can put knife, two cubes, two cubes yeah. of caramel butter stacked in there. No problem. Sorry. Yeah, let's do this today, Wendy. Well, I'm always afraid you're going to hurt yourself on the... Nah, I don't hurt myself. Uh -huh. I'm a man. You're a man. I knew you were going <laughs> to say that. I knew you were going to say that. Real men don't get hurt. Nope. Or uh, if they do... They just cry a lot when, when, uh, okay. when they, they scuff the, their, their toe or something. They yeah. go in the closet and cry. Yeah. Okay. These slide out so fast that you literally... Yeah, you gotta watch it. Gotta watch it. Because this pan... Look at this. Butter. Oh, yeah. Look, look. Yeah, man. Look at that. Oh, mm -mm -mm -mm. oh, right there. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right there. Now, I also use this dulse granules, which is a sea vegetable, and it has 220% of your daily iodine intake if you use a teaspoon. Well, we sprinkle it on because we like the nutty taste. I don't really think it has much taste myself. I do, I taste it. It's just a very mild, it doesn't have an oceany taste no, not to me. I wouldn't eat it. It doesn't have a kelpy taste to me. It's just got a little bit of a nutty nuttiness to it, flavor. You guys, look at this, look at this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Anyway, you guys, gotta eat now. Some sweetie pot. I gotta get a spoon. Almost gotta get the spoon and get some eggs. Yeah. You want some eggies? Some eggies. Eggy time. Eggy time. What's that? Down dog yoga position. Yeah, she's doing her yoga. shopping and remember at the beginning of this video I said I have a confession to make well Harry and I had a little bit of a feast last night at 12 midnight we had some deliciousness that I made about 11 p.m. I just decided I wanted to make some kind of fat bomb and I got in the kitchen and I browned my butter and then I grabbed a packet of Keto Chow chocolate peanut butter. Yes, I did. And I made some delicious fat bombs. Oh, yes, I did. Which were ready to eat at 12 midnight. We had to give it a taste test. And you guys, these taste like the pitcher right here. Oh, yeah brown butter and a package of chocolate peanut butter keto chow yep. and the funny thing is is we sat there and ate that with bacon at 12 midnight yes we did because it was amazing so then my head said man i'm eating this bacon with this chocolate peanut butter brown butter how about if i make more of these with some more of this and add bacon crumbles inside so that I get chocolate peanut butter bacon fat bombs. For when? Woo! For today. Because, you guys, this is great for the holidays. It's great for trick or treat. It's great for um, Thanksgiving. It's great for all the parties that are coming up. I'm telling you. And the funny thing is, is Rhonda Clark. My buddy Rhonda Clark and I were um, 
instant messaging each other. We finally did a call because she had the exact same thing where she took keto chow and made fat bombs out of it with the brown butter. Did she do it the same she night? She did it the same exact night. It's like our brains were working. Only she did hers with caramel macchiato and chocolate mixed together, keto chow and the, and the, and the brown butter. So we were talking and I told her what I did and I even showed her mine. She's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you did that. I said, yeah, I did. And I said, guess what I'm doing today? I said, it was so good eating it with a piece of bacon. I'm putting bacon bits in mine. And she was like, oh my gosh, that's gonna be delicious. So you guys, I'm gonna make some for you. I am so excited about this because if it works, it's gonna taste, and that's another thing. On our Facebook with Wendy Fans uh, group, and it's free for you guys to join, just go to um, Facebook with Wendy Fans. Loving it on keto with Wendy Fans, sorry. Facebook group. And uh, one of our group members made my peanut butter chocolate covered bacon. Oh yeah, I remember that. And that, was that so good. I was looking at that, and that's what got me to thinking about chocolate peanut butter keto chow in brown butter. And then I had a piece of bacon with it. And then I thought, put bacon in the chocolate peanut butter brown butter fat bomb. Would you call that the ultimate fat bomb? I think it's gonna be the ultimate fat bomb, you guys. No, it's great because we got to start getting ready for the holidays. So it's time to start come bringing out some of the um, treats and stuff you can make for the holidays, which are keto, right? Yeah, there's one. Check it out. There's one. It's a heart. There's one. Peanut butter cup. Reese's peanut butter cup. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But here's the deal. If you're carnivore and you're straight carnivore, make your brown butter and get your bacon crumbles and put these in the frying pan and get them crisp and make your brown butter and mix your bacon crumbles in with the brown butter and put them in here and you're going to have a delicious fat bomb oh, yeah. too without any sugar without any sweetener and it's going to taste delicious because I'm telling you um, Natural Path Judy is the one who uh, Natural Path Cooking with Judy is the one who reminded me that I could do more with my brown butter than cooked eggs in it. And she just makes pure brown butter and chews it like toffee. So think about that. Put some bacon crumbles in it. Because bacon crumbles, when they're cooked and they're crunchy and then you freeze them, they're going to be chewy and delicious. So you guys, we're going to get this thing started right now because I am so excited. I am so excited about doing this. I have Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter. Now this is salted butter. I like saltiness. Yeah, me too. I like that. Ooh, saltiness. Oh my gosh, my brain. Oh yeah. How about, if you like salt, we put a little bit of this Redmond Cherry Smoked Salt on a few, just, yeah, just to a taste few, it. Just, to see what it's just like. on top, just to taste it, just to push us over the top in delicious saltiness, goodness, chewiness, chocolatey, peanut butteriness. Goodness. You need to sprinkle them while they're still gonna, damp. Before I'm going to. I'm going to. Yeah. Oh, man. Now, if you, do, if you are sensitive to salt, use unsalted butter. But I'm telling you, the best butter to do is salted butter. Now, keto chow is salty, too. So, it's how you choose to make it. But the way I made it last night, you know how peanut butter is salty? You know how chocolate-covered peanut butter cups are salty? Tastes just like it, I'm telling you. Oh, I am yeah. so telling you. So I'm gonna get my butter going. And another thing, you guys don't wanna fast melt and constantly stir your butter when you're browning it. You can let it go low and slow and get it browned that way. So I'm gonna put this away and I've gotta um, get my butter going. Let me see. Get my butter going. I wanna get my pan heated, but in this small pan, I'm trying to think of how many crumbles because these are going to go into small. Okay, guys, issue with the camera. I'm thinking a third of a cup for this because I don't want too much bacon to overwhelm it. So I'm going to cook a third of a cup of the bacon and I'm going to get it crispy. Um, but, and then I'm going to drain it because I want the bake, I want the butter to shine, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You mean, be, you mean yeah, the bacon I, yeah. fat or whatever? Yeah. So 
I'm just going to put this over here on low and get my baking going on low. And your butter is going to take about 15 to 20 minutes to melt because if you constantly stir it and you don't leave it alone, the milk fat, which is the heavy part, that's the part that browns first. You have to let it go through the stages. It's going to foam. It's going to bubble. It's going to do all the things. So you want to get it started low and slow. I want to get my butter melted and then I'm turning it down. Now, I also have in the wings, because I am putting salt, salt, and salt, some dark chocolate butter stevia, just in case I need to bring down the salty taste and add a little bit more chocolatiness taste to it but I didn't do that yesterday but I didn't add bacon to it and I didn't put any cherry smoked salt on it so you guys I'm very excited about this I told Rhonda and she's like oh my gosh you have got to make that oh my gosh you have got to make that so I'm making it super easy super simple fat bombs that you can take to a party you know a lot of people have um cookie exchanges parties or bring, bring a dessert, just bring all these on a cute little plate, right? Make some cream cheese frosting, add some red food color in one, green in another, make a cute little dab of prettiness on top. Keto chow style, I mean keto style with the, uh, you know, cream cheese. Now I'm gonna turn this down and uh, do that. And I'm telling you, people are gonna go, oh my God, they're gonna want your recipe. And when you tell them that it's sugar-free, high protein they're gonna look at you like you're nuts have you guys ever been to oregon my friend amy's in oregon cindy's in uh washington so you guys if you ever go to portland oregon they used to have voodoo donuts uh downtown yeah. now i don't know with all of the craziness that went downtown if that shop survived because it was very small during the lockdown and everything that proceeded because a lot of small shops did but you guys they were the first ones that I ever had that made maple bars and chocolate bars with a slice of bacon right across the top and they make a lot of things with bacon in them and they're famous for it people go to voodoo donut shop or used to when I lived in Washington State they used to go there and get married yeah they used to make cakes yeah. but they were the first ones I ever had the, a sweet pastry with bacon on it. And so that's where I'm getting this idea from. I'm telling you. I am just so jazzed about the whole thing. Now you're just going to let this go. I'm just going to let it go. Let it go through all the processes. But I'm going to come over here to my bacon. Harry. Because I don't want this to... I want this to get a little bit firm and delicious but then I'm gonna put it on paper towel you guys because I don't want the bacon grease to be in my uh, butter I just want to get these a little bit hard and crispy because when you freeze them then they're gonna get chewy mmm chewiness oh yeah smell that mm -mm -mm. oh yeah you could add a little uh, maple extract to your bacon Yes, you could if you want that maple taste. But I'm telling you, this just needed nothing else. Three ingredients. Chocolate peanut butter keto chow, butter, and the mold. And now it's going to have bacon in it, too. So I am super excited. Look at this starting to... These are popping. Yeah. They smell great, too. Okay. Yeah. And see, my butter's on low enough. It's just doing its thing, you guys, over here, Harry. Check it out, my butter. Now I'm going to get my bacon, and I'm going to put it on a plate. I want to take the fat off my bacon. I don't want the fat to overtake the flavor of the caramelized brown butter. So I am going to put this on paper, and I'm going to pat it dry. I'm going to drain the fat off of it this way pat it off excuse me because i don't i only want the bacon i don't want the grease in this instance if that makes sense to you guys i am so excited about this now another thing i want come back when we've got caramelized butter you guys because i need to wash this See it? 
my butter. It's brown, caramel brown. So I'm gonna take my butter and I'm gonna pour it in. Get all the brownness out of the pan. The butter fat is what gets really brown. Now, I don't know if you can do just plain ghee and have it get as brown because it doesn't have the butter fat in it. It's just the oil part. I don't know. Okay, now, we've got my butter in. I'm really interested on how this is gonna get done, man. Now, you get your keto chow. I'm gonna put one half a pouch in first. Actually, you know what? I need to zero it out. Now put it on. 62 grams with the package. So I need about 31. There you go. Half, and let's see what that tastes like. So easy, you guys. Keto Chow just loves butter. Keto Chow loves butter. That should be a new saying. Let me have a taste. Mm, hot. Yeah, it's butter. Hot butter, huh? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Now. The bacon? I'm gonna put the bacon in. That was a third of a cup of bacon. Oh. The thing is you have to stir this when you're putting it into the little molds continuously as you do it. You wanna make sure you're getting from the bottom and you're getting from the top. Now I wanna taste it with just a little bit of bacon on it. It's hot, but you gotta taste it. Yeah. <laughs> what is it equal to, would you say? I'm gonna put a little bit more, I, 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 I'm going for the whole, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going for the whole okay, thing. Okay, okay. I'm going for the whole thing. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. We're going for the gusto. We're going for the entire enchilada. Oh yeah, we are, you guys. Oh ho ho, ho yeah. Do you want your mixer, the little whisk? Oh no, uh -uh. coffee? No, because I don't want the bacon. I want the bacon to stay in little chunks. Okay. Okay, now Harry. Yeah. I want you to come over here. Uh oh. I want you to come over here. I'm, t I'm, t I'm, t I'm telling you. Here. Close your eyes. Oh wow, that's a new flavor. And? That is freaking fantastic. Freaking fantastic! Oh. Yes, I'm so excited, Rhonda, we were right. Yes, we were. How long do we gotta wait for these now? Well, as soon as they will freeze, we will have them. Now, here's the trick, because you do need to keep stirring, because you wanna get, you don't want the keto chow to settle to the bottom in this. You want it all to layer up, Good. You know, so when, gonna, when you, wait, before you do that, I think you should put it on something you can lift up and put in the refrigerator or they're gonna be all over the place. Uh, you are right. Because they bend. Man. Three of my molds fit. And like Harry said, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna put this in the refrigerator to let them get cool because I have to move meat around to do. Uh, well, it'll get solid like butter. Well, then, it will, then can, and then you can put, put it in the, in the freezer. freezer. He's absolutely 100% right. Now, Rhonda was saying she just scoops hers in, and I did that 
last night, but I didn't have bacon. Bear with me so I can get bacon in every bite, you guys. Get a little bit of bacon, not too much. A little bit of bacon, not too much. The good news is, is don't worry if it's on the sides because that stuff's delicious too. Yeah, little bacon, little bacon. I'm telling you guys, if you like bacon, you like, and you can do this with any flavor. You can do it with chocolate and bacon. If you can't eat peanut butter, do it with chocolate toffee bacon. Yeah, do it with caramel macchiato bacon. I'm telling you. Or don't do the bacon, just do the caramel macchiato. I'm telling you, it is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. You guys will come back when I get these all filled and delicious. I don't know how many it's going to take to fill all three molds. So you guys come back and I'll share before I put them in the fridge. But I'm just, it's just a repeat. See this tray right here? I'm gonna put just a little bit, just a little bit of the smoked real salt and I'm gonna put it in my hand so I don't overdo. Okay, this is the cherry smoke blend. Really? We used to get chocolates in Washington State yeah. that had sea salt on them and mm -hmm. caramel inside. So that gave me the inspiration. Rhonda was talking about it, and I'm going, you know, Rhonda, we got to do it. Got to do it. There you guys go. Look at that. Well, she said regular salt, and then I said sea salt, and she went, oh, my gosh. That is excellent. You know, I'm telling you, you guys. So now... What we got to do is get this in the fridge and get it cold because my freezer is so full that this has to get set up set up yeah. first. So you guys, there we go. There you have it. This on. is the Hold one. On. Hold on. Okay. One with smoked cherry salt on top. The rest with bacon delicious goodness. So you guys, we're popping this in the refrigerator and we'll come back when I've got it in the freezer and we're taking it out for a taste test, you guys. I am so excited because if it tastes good, raw, it's gonna be fabulous when it's chewy and delicious. Okay, you guys, look at these. Here are the molds. Now here's the one that had the little bit of cherry wood smoked Redmond salt. So I'm gonna take a couple of these out. Look at that. Ho, 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 yeah. And pop these puppies right out. And these molds, uh, they come in three of this size. I don't have the heart one. I bought that at Hobby Lobby. But we'll put the um, three keto fat bomb molds down in the description below if you guys want to get them and you want to go through our store and help us out for no additional cost to you. You can go on that link and get these little mini Reese's Pieces Keto Fat Balm Molds. Yes, indeed. So I will put the hearts on there, too. But you just pop these out, you guys. Well, don't get them and mixed up. And you've got... Up. Okay, so what, what would mix up? What do you think? Oh, I thought you were pulling out the other kind. No, I wasn't. Sure. No, it's not. But thank you, dear. Thank you. So look at this, you guys. How cute is this? Pop them out, put them in a baggie or a little container in the freezer, and every time you want two, because two pieces are a serving, and I am going to link the recipe down in the description below. And if you can't have peanuts, you're allergic, I would suggest using the chocolate toffee or the chocolate keto chow or the uh, caramel macchiato keto chow. If you don't have that, I would use um, the protein of your uh, that you want. I would use the flavors that you would like, but you guys, this is so good, so delicious. And man, I'm telling you, look at these. <clears throat> How cute are those? Look at these. 
Yeah, I know they're nice, huh? So this is the one with the salt. Let me get close. Sorry. Okay, here. <laughs> See the little salt on top? Yeah. Look at this. Now, wait a minute. Look, because you can see the keto chow, the layer of the keto chow and the bacon at the bottom, the different color in the heart. So let's try a heart first. Is it good or not? Tastes like toffee. Does it really? Tastes like peanut butter. <clears throat> a little bit of salt and the bacon at the bottom. You're hairy. Ooh, they're dark on the top too. Mm -hmm. Chewy bacon. Oh yeah. Got the, the chewy, bacon in there. The caramelly butter on top. And the salty peanut butter keto chow. Mm. Mm, okay, now try good, one. Good. Try one with the salt. <laughs> This one, right? Yep. Yep. That's got the cherry wood smoked salt on top. Yeah, we need huh? Oh, I like that. Do you? Yeah. And well, here, come back to me because I haven't got to try mine yet. Mmm. Mmm. And the bacon is crunchy, toffee, deliciousness. Mmm. I like the cherry wood smoke. I like, mmm. Is that good? And the bacon. Yes. Get that little chewy, crunchy piece of bacon you in there. You don't need a whole lot of bacon in mm -mm. there. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. I like that. That's mm. good. I'd be good with coffee. <laughs> you can use, you can use salted keto chow or unsalted keto chow. It depends on how much salt you like. I love salt, but it depends on you because keto chow has salt in it and it's very peanut buttery salty goodness deliciousness the bacon has salt in it so you make it your way you guys but you gotta make this this is so easy so delicious and now you put it in a baggie or you put it in a container and every time you want something you can grab two because choose a serving i have the recipe in the, the comments pinned to the top below sally sneezing she'd like some please she can't have any of this no she the cannot but you guys this is absolutely You got delicious. the macros too, right? I do. So anyway, you guys, please remember, we're going to go ahead and close out tonight. Yes, Sally, we are. I know yes, she's that. going crazy. We're going to close out tonight, you guys. So please remember to like, subscribe. No, you can't. <gasps> oh, you guys. That's right. Okay, here. You guys, don't forget, I have linked the recipe down in the comment section below i pinned it to the top for you you can change out the flavors of keto chow you can change out the flavors but it's absolutely delicious sally keeps sneezing because she wants something but you guys it's time to choose the winner for the phd summit giveaways that i have so let's go in the other room and let's get those chosen this is for lies my doctor told me this is the first giveaway And we had, let's get started. Are you ready? Yeah. On your mark, get set, go. Bring it up a little bit. There you go. Shirley Dittman. Hashtag yeah. PhD. drawing for the Redmond Real Salt, Chocolate Keto Chow, and the Daily Minerals, the uh, Magnesium Drops, Electrolyte Drops, and Fasting Drops from Keto Chow. This is the next prize, and I'm going to do that right now. 
Pick another winner and your mark is set, go. L.M. Davis. Thanks for bringing back prizes from the PhD Summit. Okay, and you guys, for the third and last prize, Redmond Real Salt, Chocolate Keto Chow, and the Daily Minerals, Magnesium, Electrolytes, and Fasting Drops from Keto Chow. Your mark, get set, go. Sally Powers. Woo! Can't wait to make you bread. So glad you had a wonderful time at the PhD Summit. Okay, you guys, we'll come back and we'll go over how you need to get your prizes. Okay, everyone, the book went to Shirley Dittman. Shirley Dittman. Woo! Shirley, congratulations. The second prize, which was the Keto Chow um, Minerals, magnesium, electrolytes, and fasting drops, Redmond Real Salt, and a package of Keto Chow goes to L.M. Davis. L.M. Davis. Woo! All right. Yes. And then the third prize goes to Sally Powers, and she gets the same. She gets the mineral drops, the electrolytes, the magnesium, and the fasting drops, the Redmond Real Salt, and Keto Chow. Now here's the deal, you guys. All three of you need to send me an email at lovingitonketo at gmail.com. I need your full name, your address, and telephone number so I can mail your prizes out to you if you live in Canada. Please remember to do the line items. It's okay. The line item is exactly the way I need to put them uh, on the uh, mailing address so that you get yours. And you guys, we're going to give you till today is, we're going to give them to you until Wednesday the 28th. Wednesday the 28th, so I can mail them all together, you guys. So September 28th, you guys need to get those to me. But anyway, congratulations, everybody. Yeah. Woo! You guys, we took our um, nightly um, glucose and ketones. We're going to insert that here. Well, you guys, I never turned it on. <laughs> but let me tell you, I was 104 glucose and 0 0.8, and I have a 7.2. So I am at a low level of GKI ketosis. So let me write that down. So Harry was 81 glucose. 0 0.4 ketones, 11.2 GKI. So he was not in GKI. Ketosis, no, he was not, but we're going to put it down for posterity. I'm on a low level of no GKI ketosis. That's right. Okay, you guys, come back in the next segment. And then we are going to do a taste. No, we're done. We're done. We're done. Okay, Harry says we're done, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and close out this video. Hey, you guys, please remember to like, subscribe, or ring that little bell. Give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. And Sally wants to say hello to everybody. Say hello, Sal. That's what you said. Say good night. Say good night. That was a good night. Can you say good night? That's it, huh? That's all we get. Can you say yes? <laughs> She's not saying nothing. She's not saying nothing. She says, I want some of that. I'm smelling this stuff, I, don't, I want it now. <laughs> <laughs>